Hi everybody. This is a small tutorial on how to set up favorites in Microsoft Edge and how to set up bookmarks in Google Chrome. Now, favorites and bookmarks are the same thing. Um, they just have different names for them. Okay, but Chrome called them bookmarks. They've been book bookmarks forever. And um, it used to be Internet Explorer. Now it's Microsoft Edge. It's the same thing, but they call them favorites. Okay, so we're going to set them up. So I'm going to pull this out of the way. And in behind you here, you'll see we're in uh, Google Chrome. Now you know it's Google Chrome because you've got a little G symbol up here for Google. I'm just going to drag in the Microsoft Edge window, which is also on a Google page. Right, so it's a, it's Microsoft Edge, but it's on the Google search engine. And you'll see there's a little B here for the Bing chat. So that's how you know. Um, that's really the only difference that's obvious without going in through settings and stuff like that. Okay, so normally speaking, um, it comes turned off. There's normally a little bar which hovers down here, which you can keep all of your bookmarks or your favorites on, all right? But it's turned off at the moment. So I'm gonna turn it on, all right? So we go up here to our three little dots and we go down to bookmarks and you'll see show bookmarks bar doesn't have a tick beside it. So I'm gonna tick it and you'll see this line is just turned up here. Now just keep an eye on this line here. I'm just gonna turn it back off again and let you see the difference. So see it's ticked now. So look up at the line and watch what happens when I deselect this. It goes down, it goes up, right? So I'm gonna turn it back on, show bookmarks bar. Okay, so there it is, okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna get all the things that we use all the time and put them up here. So the first one should really be our Google page. So in order to make something a uh, bookmark, we hit this little star here. If we hover, it'll say bookmark this tab. So I'm gonna just click it and it gives us an option to name it. Now new tab doesn't really help. So I'm just gonna type in the word Google. We could call it, I could call it, you know, John, Mary, shoes. I'm gonna call it Google. I'm gonna click done. Now you'll see over here, it already has, it's added it in this new tab, but when I click done, you'll see it's now changed it to Google. Okay, so that's my first bookmark. So. My internet's a little bit slow here, but I'm going to navigate to the Salorgan College website, right? www.salorgancollege.ie I'm going to hit enter. Now, hopefully this will be the last time I'll ever have to do this because um, I'm going to have a shortcut or a bookmark for it from now on, okay? So just to bring me to the website, I'm here. I'm going to hit this little star here again to add another bookmark. And it says Telorgan College, and that's fine. You see, it's already added up, so I'm just going to say done. So we also want a shortcut for Moodle. So I click on students, and I go to Moodle. And then I click on the little star again. Now, it's coming up as Telorgan College of Further Education, which isn't helpful. We want it to say Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E. So I just click on Moodle, and I click done. Now you'll see it says Moodle here. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to click on Microsoft 365 for our email. And that will bring us to this page for logging in. I'm going to click on the star again. And it says log in Microsoft 365. So I'm just going to call this email because that's what it is, right? So no one gets confused. Okay. So at this stage, I've got a shortcut for a Google page. I've got a shortcut for Stalogan College. I've got a shortcut for Moodle. And I've got a shortcut for email, right? But I can do something even cooler. I can put them all into a folder and open them all at once. Right, so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to go add folder and I'm gonna call the folder null, save. And there it is, now watch this. I'm gonna drag my email, drop it in, drag my Moodle, drop it in, drag my Stalogan College, drop it in, and drag my Google and drop it in. So now I just have one folder, right? So I'm going to open a blank tab. I'm gonna close all of the rest of them. So imagine I just opened Google Chrome from scratch and this is all I have, right? Watch this. Right click, open all four. And there you go. So you've just set up your computer. You've opened Google Chrome. This tab here is your email. This one here is Moodle. This one here is Stalorgan. And this one here is a new Google tab, right? Okay, now I actually changed that to Google, but it seems to have changed it back to new tab. At least new tab is what it is, but it's just, it's easier for Google. Okay, so that's how you put your bookmarks into Google. Now, it's very similar with Edge, but it's slightly different. I'm gonna drag this down. I'm gonna drag Edge in over here. I'm gonna drag Google Chrome out. So now I am in Microsoft Edge, right? You can see the little Bing thing here. So same thing, the bar is missing. So it's very similar, but slightly different. So I click on the three dots, and this time I go down to favorites because it's favorites, not bookmarks. And 
I have to click on three dots again and go show favorites bar always. And now here it is, it's just turned up. And what it's done is for some reason, because this my, I, I'm working on a HP Z240 machine, it's given me a shortcut to HP. I don't want that. Click on it and go delete. Okay. Now, so there's options here to import favorites and I could actually bring them in out of Chrome, but let's just do this as if we didn't have that option and you, you were just working on Microsoft Edge. So I'm on a Google bar. So the first thing I want to do is hit the little star and straight away, now it's adding it here and it's actually calling it Google. So there's my first one, done. Okay, same thing again. I'm gonna to navigate to www.delorgancollege.ie, hit enter. Okay, so I want to save this one as well. Now I can go into students and save it, it's all the same. Actually, let's go back, we'll just save it as Delorgan College. So I'm gonna hit the star and it says Delorgan College. You see it's already popped up here, so I just go done. So I want, I want, to do Moodle, so I go into students and I click on Moodle and then I hit the little star. Now again, it says the Logan College of Further Education. I really want this to say Moodle because it doesn't help calling us the Logan College because it's Slogan College's Moodle, but it doesn't even have the word Moodle in it. So I change it to Moodle, I go done. You'll see now it says Moodle here. And then I go back to Slogan College and I click on Microsoft 365. That will bring us to our email. And I can either bookmark this page or favorite this page, or I can go to sign in and then do that page. So I can just as easily do this page if I want to. So I can just hit um, the star and it says sign into your account, but I'd rather just have it called email because then I'll just know that's my email. So now I've got Google, Sullivan College, Moodle, email. Now, what's slightly different about this is I can go um, add folder and I can call it null. That's pretty much the same as Chrome, but I don't think you can actually drag and drop them here. So if I click on that, no, it won't let me drag them into it. So that's okay. We can do it just as easily. If I go to the three bars and I go to favorites, I can just drag the email down, left click, drag, let go. Drag Moodle down, left click, drag, let go. You see they're disappearing up here. Drag Slogan College down, left click, drag, let go. Drag Google down, left click, drag, let go. Okay, so now, as you can see, I now have one folder here and that folder has all four in it. So let's just open a blank tab and close everything else. So I've just opened, let's say, um, Edge for the first time. I've got my folder. I right click and I go open all four. And there they are. So there's my Google page. There's my Stallone College. There's my uh, Moodle. And there is the sign into my email. So there you go. Okay, so um, that kind of solves that problem as regards people needing to type in www.thelogancollege.ee all the time and then go to students and then click on either Moodle or email. And now you just have a button on your favorite bar or your bookmark bar and you just click on it and it brings you straight there. So you can use um, Edge in the college and then if you have Edge or you can use uh, Chrome at home, we can't have Chrome in the college this year, at least in most of the, the rooms. So that should solve that problem. So any questions or queries on this, please let me know in class. But um, if you get stuck with any of this, just kind of play the video again and just set it up. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you.